Okay, I just want to document a mod fail. I got a uh, Super Nintendo Mini here. This is the motherboard. Uh, I've done a few mods to it already. And there's an LED uh, lockout chip mod with switch, and then the 5060 Hertz mod with switch. And what I found is on these uh, one chip boards, you just can't play PAL games on it. Um, I have it switches back here are set for 50 Hertz and this is what I get. Now if I switch it into US mode it goes perfect until it switches screens which that happened a little bit too fast to get on that. But then it says game pack not designed for your Super Famicom or Super NES which basically means it's a uh, goes back in region mod or uh, region lockout but if I wait and let it flip through some screens here's the startup screen I can flip it into US mode or 60 Hertz and it looks just perfect and if I leave it in if I leave it in 50 Hertz mode It'll continue to look like this, but eventually it will flip through all the intro sequences. You know, and, and each time I can flip it into US mode and and see a perfect screen. So what what uh, what's probably happening is the output video is actually turned into a PAL signal, which obviously this TV cannot handle most TVs cannot handle see I hit it too fast but that's what happens now the lockout chip if I put it in US mode it just it won't start anything and I'm in either that's, I think that's 50 Hertz now I'm in 60 hertz. It won't even start the game, so I have to turn the lockout chip off. That's in 60 hertz. 50 hertz, I get. I mean, the game starts and it tries to play, but the video signals is all all messed up. And I think uh, Tito said something about maybe sending the original 60 hertz signal to the encoder chip. I think that's a great idea, but I think that might take another pole, like a triple pole, double throw switch to make it all work right. I don't know. But as it is, it's, uh, it's just not going to work. Terrible.